Nothing like trying to do a knife review when you got a head cold. <laughs> Welcome friends, thank you so much for joining me today. I do appreciate it a lot. And as always, like the sign says, like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell. Okay, would you do that for me? I do appreciate it a lot. Well, a few uh, weeks ago, I was watching one of the YouTube uh, channels that I subscribe to, and he showed a knife that looked very similar to this, and he called it a case knife. It was a case knife. And I said, hey, you know, I put in the comment section, I think uh, I've got one of those. And he wrote back and he said, I'd love to see it. So I went and I dug it up and I realized it ain't a case knife. It's actually an Estwing knife. And uh, so I immediately went to the Estwing website, went to their contact page and asked for some information. Now, um, I'll have a link below to Estwing where you can purchase anything that you want there. They didn't pay me to say any of this, but um, when you use my links, it does help us out here in the channel. We get a little piece of that at no additional cost to you. But uh, I'll leave a link for you to take a look. But they don't make this knife any longer. So I contacted them for some more information about it and they still haven't got back to me yet. And in, in all fairness, that was just a couple of days ago. So we'll see what happens. Maybe while I'm making this video, they'll get back to me and I can fill it in. Otherwise, it'll be a two-parter. But in the meantime, let's get to the specs. Overall length, eight and five eighths inches. Blade length is four and seven sixteenths long. The blade is of uh, some mystery steel that I can't tell you what it is, but I do have an email into uh, Estwing to find out what kind of steel this might be. If you know, let me know in the comments below. It weighs in at three and five eighths ounces with the sheath. It's two and five eighths ounces without the sheath. Yeah, that's what I thought. Very nice stacked leather handle. I think that pummel is made out of aluminum aluminum. Looking down the hilt, it looks like it is all the way through the handle. It is a rat tail, but it is pinned right back here. It does say USA. Can you read that right there? It's got some other text right here, but I can't read it. I guess it says Estwing something or other. Can't read it. The sheath is made out of Naga hide. You can tell because of the fabric inside of here. The sheath clearly says Estwing. It has this handy belt loop so you can uh, attach it to your belt. Use our Amazon link down below. When you do, it helps us out and it doesn't cost you a penny more. And after using the link, save it to your bookmarks so you can have easy access to it in the future. Thank you. Well, like I said in the video, I don't know what kind of steel this is. It, for me, it's kind of a mystery steel. It is made in the USA according to the, uh, the, the uh, indicator that's on here. That's, it's etched in and it's starting to wear off. But um, very cool little knife, I think. I know that it's at least 37 years old because that was about the time Shootin' Gal got this from her dad and certain things in, in our uh, family history kind of line up and went, oh, yeah, it must have been about 37 years ago. So it's a rather um, older knife uh, in the family, and it's been around probably way before that because it was in her dad's tool cabinet for quite some time. Um, another giveaway here is that uh, the, the sheath is made out of naga hide or a vinyl, a uh, fabric-backed vinyl that's been pretty durable and, you know, has lasted... Um, nearly 40 years without getting any cracks or anything in it. So it's a it's a fairly high quality vinyl, early kind of stuff that um, um, does last a while. Uh, I understand that there's a leather version of this that I don't know if it goes further back or is more current. So I, I don't know. And I don't even know when they, when S-Wing stopped making this knife. I'm told that it's called the Sportsman's Knife. I don't know. Any of you out here have an S-Wing knife that's like this, with this kind of sheath around that era, uh, 37 years ago, so that would be uh, 1980, 81, 82, somewhere around there. Um, and may even be older. So if you've got anything, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, put a comment down below, send me whatever information you can, that would be helpful, and then I'll pass it on to everybody else. And in the meantime, Estwing, I'm hoping will get back with me and then I'll have some more information and then I'll just do a follow-up video talking a little bit more about it. Very cool little knife. Stacked 
leather, kind of in the case design. I'll put a, a, a picture up here of a case knife that looks very similar to this, and I think it was just kind of a popular style knife in the day um, with this pummel that's down here, which is kind of cool. And it's pinned. It is. I, I'm going to assume it's kind of a rat tail, but it is full tang, like I say in the uh, in the uh, specs section. Uh, and it's pinned in right there to hold the pummel in. It seems like on the pummel, it's got a little bit of a plastic-like uh, or a urethane coating, but the back part of it, it's kind of worn off. And uh, there is some sort of coating on the leather, so it doesn't absorb water. But uh, very nice. It does. Uh, it is rather sharp at the moment. It's. Uh, I'm probably going to stick it on the work sharp and give it a really good sharpening and I might take you along on that too. Um, by the way, there was a previous video uh, that we did just maybe a week or so ago about work sharp and I had some difficulty with one of the sharpeners. They did get back with me so on an upcoming video I'm going to resharpen it and maybe I'll take this and sharpen this knife on that sharpener and I got schooled on how to do it so um, success with that sharpener but anyway needless to say I'll put a link to all this stuff below if you want to take a look. Needless to say cool little knife uh, been in the family a long time. One of those things that um, even if it doesn't have a whole lot of financial value or historic value or doesn't, you know, it's like not, it's not a $10 million knife because it's so rare. Uh, it is priceless because it's part of the family and it came from the family and it's going to stay in the family. Yeah. All right. So if you know anything about this knife, uh, leave a comment down below. That would be greatly appreciated. And as I find out more, I will pass that information on to you. In the meantime, don't forget, Stay tuned. If you are a uh, subscriber, you guys are awesome. If you guys are a Patreon patron, you guys are awesome. And uh, if you're neither of those, consider uh, subscribing. I'll put a, you know, there's a way to do that and I'll show you how to do that. And if you want to even contribute directly to our channel, don't forget, check out our Patreon page. I would appreciate it. All right. I love you guys. God bless you. God bless America. May America bless God. See ya. Yeah, well, all right, I gotta go take some cold medicine. You guys got any remedies? Let me know.